So you won't see me and Jerry scrapping. <laughs> well, not publicly anyway. <laughs> so power couples usually have power couple names. We've seen Benefer. Bradgelina. We've seen Kim Ye. It's Chrisinda. And lately, well, most recently, we have Caramel Brownie. So this is the name that's been given to the dynamic duo that's representing Aotearoa New Zealand here at the 52nd Pacific Island Leader Forum in Rarotonga. Yes, and uh, we are here in Rarotonga to cover all the hottest topics that have been spoken about right now. And one thing that does need to be cleared up is the role of Carmel Sipoloni. And what is she exactly? So she's the caretaker deputy prime minister. She's also Labour's deputy leader. So since they're technically still in government because National hasn't formed one yet, that's why she's here to represent Aotearoa. Uh, well, we sit at the table as uh, New Zealand Inc. and the relationship with the Pacific uh, is a very important one for us uh, as it is for the current government. So I don't anticipate that there will be anything that would cause us to have any degree of concern. So Caramel Brownie had their first bilateral meeting with Prime Minister of the Cook Islands and Forum Chair Mark Brown today. They spoke about security, they spoke about climate change and climate finance, also infrastructure aid that New Zealand supports the Cook Islands with, and they also got to have a little glance at some seabed nodules that the Prime Minister of Cook Islands is looking to extract. Yeah, and they were also quick to shut down questions of the appointment of a new Secretary General of the Forum, Baron Wanga who's a quite a controversial figure, but they pretty much said that this topic won't be revisited. That was not raised with us, and as I've said, I said earlier, um, there's certainly been uh, nothing said or mentioned to me that uh, would indicate that we are revisiting that decision. The forum is welcoming some heavy hitters this year with sizable delegations from the US, the UK and Australia. And some questions have been raised around, is there a divide in the Pacific? I mean, there were some Pacific countries that voted against the UN's resolution of ceasefire um, in Gaza. And also there were some countries that didn't turn up to Biden's US Pacific summit. China, who's a major influence in the region, is also not here. Yeah. So. How unified is the Pacific at the moment? The fact that Micronesia, and especially Kiribati, is back in the fold uh, with regards to Pacific Leaders Forum, that is very important. Uh, and we want to make sure that that remains the case. Uh, we are going to be strong if we are unified, and that means everyone has to be at the table. So tomorrow, all the delegates will be meeting to have a big hui, a big funo, a big talanoa, chaired by none other than Mark Brown. And Carmel Sepuloni is actually heading off to Aitutaki for the leader's retreat. But staying here in Tonga will be the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. And he's actually got a few hui himself. He's meeting up with Cuba. He's meeting Ooh. up with France. Ooh. So we're going to find out what New Zealand's interests are there. Stay tuned to find out.